So Gamuda Land is an international property developer with our home in Malaysia. Uh, we started property development 27 years ago and since then we've developed 52,000 homes over uh, five countries. We have a strong focus on delivering sustainable projects. What attracted Gamuda to the site originally was the opportunity to design and deliver uh, Johnson Street Park, which is a, a public project. Um, but because we can come in at the early stage, we've really been given opportunity to drive something that resonates with the local context, but can also benefit our residents as a park on their doorstep. Well, I suppose architecture played a big role with uh, Gamuda, where they're very, very much interested in that whole concept of connecting with, with nature. That's how it really started in terms of its uh, contextual um, understanding of the project. We are passionate about uh, creating a sort of barphilic design that is that resonates not just visually but also physically and emotionally. Uh, what's really interesting about the project is the opportunity of Johnson Street Road that will be converted into a park. Um, that has always been at the very forefront of our design concept, where Gamuda is very passionate about sustainability and biophilic qualities of a project. Um, what a great opportunity we have here to try and connect an outdoor space um, and try to bring some of the connotations of landscape elements into the interiors and up the building in its architecture. The park at Johnson Street is three quarters an acre. Um, and we see this as an opportunity to restore what is a pretty highly degraded post-industrial landscape. So what we're proposing is to plant a forest in what is currently the road. We see this, this place as creating a tranquil escape for the residents um, of the area, leaving a really positive impact on the, on the surrounding community. So we're proposing to plant uh, over 6,000 native species into the park, um, including 81 native trees. The majority of the plants that we're proposing are indigenous to this area. However, we have expanded our palette to include species from around Australia that are uh, adaptable to, this, to the conditions on this site. We've really tried to hone in on some of the colours and textures of those species, the, um, the yellow of the acacias, the red of the calistamine. We've taken those colours and sort of um, dispersed them up the facade of the building to create what we hope will be like floral fireworks throughout the seasons where different species kind of turn on at different times of year to announce a change in the seasons and have that visual connection between the ground and the, and the building. At Moriel and with the canopy, the process began um, definitely with the localised site and the histories. That's very important that all of the histories um, considered and understood. So that is definitely something that we find is one of the most important features is to pay homage to every history of that place that then will translate um, in the end to an amazing design, but also it's actually reconnecting people to a history or reconnecting people to a cultural history. And we find that that's really, really something that is missing in today's world is connecting, as we call it, connecting back to country. The, the approach to the canopy has been to integrate um, both a energy efficiency outcome, but also a health and wellbeing outcome for the future residents of, of the development. So from a health and wellbeing point of view, integrating all that natural greenery uh, and the landscaping, as well as promoting, I guess, healthy material choices within apartments. So choosing uh, woods and carpets and paints that have low emissions in terms of um, VOCs, which are really bad for our health. So designing out those helps promote a really healthy internal environment which um, increases our, our focus, our, our well-being, our health outcomes for sleeping. Um, and then the other side, energy efficiency. So dividing, designing our apartments to perform better than code. So in this case, significantly better, uh, means lower energy bills, but it also means better internal um, temperatures and overall occupant comfort. There is a conscious decision for both the architecture and the interiors to complement. That is fundamental in all the projects that we do, uh, a holistic approach between the architecture and the interiors. Um, the elements of uh, geometry, the elements of materiality that speaks of each other. 
So we really wanted to create a home at the canopy on Normanby. Uh, we wanted to connect to nature um, and create a sense of calm, a place of refuge uh, and a sanctuary, ultimately your home. For us that creating a sensory experience and really creating a space that supported wellbeing um, was how we responded to the biophilic design elements rather than, I guess, overt greenery. We really looked to use a clean, uh, calming palette of materials, one that uses whites, soft greys, timbers and texture to create a backdrop, um, a layer to ultimately creating a, a clean, simple design but one with subtle sophistication. In, inside the 14 principles of biophilic design, there's an element of place where people need to feel like they belong. We need to, therefore, Gamuda always aims to create spaces where people can connect with and appreciate and feel like they're a part of a community. We want to create spaces where people not only live, but know each other and can look after one another and know the local area so that they can become part of the community.